Daz Cameron twice in this series. 0-2. That's ball hit hard into the gap in left center field. On the run is Ward, and it is over his head up against the wall. Around third is Alvarez. He'll score. Here comes McCann. No relay to the plate. He'll come across standing up, and the A's lead it 2 nothing. Max Schumann with a rope in the left center field. RBIs 12 and 13, and the A's lead it 2 nothing. Now, now we have some. Now we're saying the runner is out. It felt like McCann stumbled across the bag and he did not touch home plate. And the call made by John Bacon and Mark Kotze is now talking with the first base umpire Jim Wolf. And certainly going to want to have replay take a look at this. Because Mark was going to, or McCann was going to slide. I think what, the, what they're complaining about is that McCann actually was pushed back to the plate by his teammate. He was pushed back by Armando Alvarez, and you can't do that. You can't touch your teammate and, and push him back to the base if he missed it. And that's what we're going to check on. And the umpires are going to gather now in front of the mound. The A's do get one run at least with Alvarez. And we'll see if it's going to be two with the inning alive or if it's going to end. We've seen a couple of replays of McCann trying to come across the plate. He does not touch the plate. And so this is going to go against the athletics. He was caught in between. He was going to slide head first, and then he changed at the last moment and never touched the base. He went back to touch it, but contact was made by Alvarez. And now Marcotte wants an explanation from Jim Wolf. Want to make sure what, what they're going to talk about, what they're going to look at. And maybe we're still going to use New York because they have not gone to New York for replay. Have you, have you ever seen that called? No, I've never seen it actually happen. And now Alan Porter, the crew chief, is going to go over and talk with Ron Washington, explain what Marcotte wants to have happen here. Crazy end to the inning with Alvarez making contact with his teammate. And now Alan Porter is going to turn on the microphone and give us some information. The call on the field is that the runner initially missed home plate. Oakland is challenging that call. So, and we saw the replay. He did not touch home plate, so, and he'll be out, and it's in part because his teammate made contact with him. It went over home plate. He never, he never touched it. Even Contreras, was, he was looking at the plate, and he was already resigned to the fact that it was a 2-0 game. So the A's do have a 1-0 lead. This replay review is brought to you by Kingsford Capital Management. And this is one of those moments where you'd like a little more explanation from the umpires yes. at the conclusion of the decision. We've asked for that a lot. Just, just tell us and tell everybody what's going on. All it does is make everybody look good. So it's 1-0 Oakland. It's an RBI double for Schumann. It'll be his 12th RBI. So if the runner that originally scored, whoever it is, assists his teammate in touching home plate, he's out. And waiting for Alan Porter to get the final information from the replay center in Manhattan. Schumann's double, by the way, was his seventh of the year. The Angels have come off the field. Here's Alan Porter. After review, the call in the field is confirmed. The runner missed home plate. He is out. Oakland loses their challenge. And so that's how the top of the second ends. The A's get a run. They leave a man and left a run out there in the ether space because McCann didn't touch home plate. Out of the bottom of the second, and it's 1-0 Oakland.